So, hello. So, we're here at the Armed Tech Con 2013. So, who are you? Hi, Nicholas. My name is Leonid. I am with a small startup called uh, Vostimonial. I have a couple of products called Vostimonial and Demo Tracker launching quite soon. So, what is that? Well, Demo Tracker is the easiest one to explain. It lets you send any website URL. Let's to any uh, salesperson, uh, to any person's cell phone. Any website URL? Yeah, so think of it this way. You're an exhibitor and uh, someone walks up to your table, right? And you usually have a stack of marketing materials that looks like this. But the thing is, all these people can be defined as um, some particular type of persona. Some of them can be press, some of them can be startups, some of them can be enterprises. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to send them to a very specific landing page that speaks directly to them? And that's basically what I did. With Demo Tracker, you can actually define a list of pages that you want to be able to send to a person. And assuming this works. <laughs> okay. So a list of pages. Yeah, we can just choose over here whether the person is an exhibitor, whether it's a startup, whether it's a potential affiliate. Is this marketer. Windows Phone app? Yes, it is. It's actually an HTML page. Oh, yeah. So it works on Windows, it works on Blackberry, and of course it works on iOS and on Android. So what we can do here, for example, is one very common problem. Let's say you have an iOS app, and you walk up to my table, and you say, uh, and you like my app, and I'm giving you a demo of my iOS app. So you want to install it. And at many conferences, you have Wi-Fi in the conference rooms, but you don't have it on the expo floor. So what do you do? Well, you curse that you don't have Wi-Fi. You try to open the App Store. You give up because it's too slow, or it doesn't work at all. But now, I, as an exhibitor, I can simply say, well, I'm just going to text you the URL to my app. So I'm just going to enter my phone number. And tap on Send Demo, and that's done. Send demo. And what I've just done here is here's my Android phone. And this is a cheap one. It is a cheap one. It's basically a 4G modem that happens to also be a phone. Nice. But what you see is you just got a text message from us. It says, hey, thanks for trying demo track at Amtex Con 2013 conference. Please visit this page. And if you click on that page, it will take you straight to my website which will also have my contact information. And because you don't want to see it on that Android device, I'll show it to you on something that's a little bit bigger. So let me just flip to that. Come on. Is the, is the iPad not working? No, it's working great. Okay. So it's going to take you to a page like this. It says, hey, met me at a conference. Here's my contact information for you. Here's a demo of my product, and we can go through various pages of my demo and things of such nature. But the point is that we used this URL over here, which is demo.tk slash 2h, and that is essentially a um, URL that's similar to Bitly. What that means is it's short mid. You would normally just use Bitly and yeah. Bitly has an API, so it lets you see how many people clicked on your URL. In this case, we have integrated a URL shortener with enterprise sales management systems like Yammer, like Salesforce. And as well as, if you don't use such systems, you can also use Evernote, you can also use Chatter. And of course, you'll just be notified by SMS. So, whenever your prospect clicks on this link, we notify you in your sales application that that has taken place, so when would be the ideal time to call them? Right about now. So we will tell you that a person at this phone number has just opened your demo and here's their number, so you might as well just want to call them right now. All right, so uh, how old is Vastimonial? Vastimonial is about a year old. We're getting ready to launch. Demo Tracker is about six weeks old. So uh, Vastimonial, which one did you show now? Uh, you demo tracker, right? I just showed you demo tracker because I made it because I was making I needed it for myself and then I realized hey I made a great product. But well, Westimonial is slightly different. Uh, Westimonial lets you a very similar concept. 
With Voice Demonial, you can simply enter the prospect's phone number. Their phone rings immediately. And then whatever they say ends up on your website, on your Facebook, Google+, Twitter, wherever you want. So I can actually show this live. I'll type my phone number. And my phone will actually ring. So there's my incoming call. And it's a ring. It's ringing. 2013 conference. Yeah. What did you love about it today? What did you love about it today? So today we are talking about uh, Amtech Con 2013, and I think it's an amazing conference. And so far, we've gotten a lot of value out of it. I just finished going to the Atmel session, talking about Sam 20. It was quite interesting. So that's pretty much how you do it. So basically, you record testimonials about stuff. Yeah. So if someone walks up to a table and they're saying, hey, uh, we should, uh, this is a great product I've been using it for the last couple of years, that's when you want to get them, right then and there on the spot. So basically you just type in, they type in their phone number in your phone, and it immediately calls them, yep. and they start talking. Yep. Re you record it. Yeah, it's basically turning their phone into a microphone. But, and I can actually prove that this got recorded, I can access it in real time right now, but that's not necessary. So. So what do you do? Are you making startups? Yeah. I Where? have, um, I'm based here in Silicon Valley. And I just uh, have a particular passion for creating solutions for salespeople and for business owners who want to make more money. So that's what drives me. I help people make a lot more money. Really? Yeah. By enabling them to engage with their customers and prospects more effectively. And they pay you some of it? None of my products are free. You would pay me um, a certain amount for every time you use Demo Tracker and a certain amount for every time you use Westimonial. And there are actually a lot of viral features built into these products that are going to become available as time passes. I cannot really talk about them right now because they're not quite finished yet. I like to talk about things that I can actually show right now. What were you doing? What did you do before? Oh, I have about 19 years of background in IT. In fact, I was, I was just updating my resume earlier today because yeah. I was like, well, my resume is 20 pages long. Let's cut it down to one page. What, do we, what, what is written in there? What are you doing before? I uh, worked at various Silicon Valley companies. So, for example, I worked at a small company called Wilson Sonsini Goodrichon Rosati, which uh, is uh, one of the top venture, fa venture capital law firms. Um, then uh, Vertical Nets stole me from there. They gave me a triple raise. That was kind of nice. So I ran operations for West Coast. I kept the uh, Oracle databases running. And, um, but my, my areas of expertise are really simple. I'm an expert on Windows Sector Directory. On, uh, data, uh, on data recovery, business continuity, disaster readiness, things of such nature, as well as Microsoft Exchange and SQL Server. So high performance, high availability, as well as um, I think I'm still certified on Solaris. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you think about here, the ARM TechCon? What, what are you doing here? At ARM TechCon, to be honest, I'm looking for customers. It's, I'm also interested in what's new and exciting in the hardware world. So for example, today I was at CIO Summit, which was very interesting because I'm, what I'm, is that I, about? I'm, I'm surprised they invited me, but it was a very good use of my time. So at CIO Summit, they told us what to expect as far as enterprise IT is concerned going forward. For example, one of the quotes I remember is that up to 25% of servers in 2015 in major data centers are going to be running ARM infrastructure, ARM architecture, which is, quite frankly, interesting. For so many years, we've had this uh, Vintel and AMD Tel and WinAMD monopoly. And now the x86 is, uh, monopoly is breaking down and we are heading into, hey, maybe we don't need x86 servers for this. Maybe we can do this on ARM. So that's what's interesting. And what's really interesting is how enterprises are adopting this as well. All right, what are you going to do in the future? What am I going to do in the future? Quite a few things. I'm going to finish two of these products. I'm going to build a um, nonprofit company that I have in mind. 
There's also a non-profit product I built last month for eBay. That was fun. We actually won an award there. And uh, what? The oh, eBay it's non-profit. eBay hosted an event where they um, where they brought in a bunch of non-profits. So we did something cool. For example, here's a calendar we built in 36 hours. This is the new calendar, and I will show you the old calendar in a second. I think it's a little tricky. CDM calendar. Yep, that's it. So this is this is before, and this is. Oops, sorry about that. After, slight difference, right? So what you have here is you have icons, you have great design, and you have the legend that explains all of these icons. Okay. So this is the calendar product we've built, but that's not the end of it. For what? For Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose. Children's the Discovering Museums in San Jose. Yeah. And this is the product we built for them. It's uh, tentatively called Text to Donate. Yeah. If you know about the campaigns such as text give to 9999 to donate $10 to Red Cross, well, this is something similar to that, but for every nonprofit. So in this case, if you text, let's say, $50 to donate to 707-646-9966, it will send you a text message that will take you to a donation page. So we built this feature and the backend for it, powered by Twilio, in about 36 hours. So we built two and a half products. <laughs> in 36 hours. Cool. So you like building stuff? I like solving problems. I like. Uh, I don't like to build throwaway code. I cannot make games, and I'm pretty hard. I've never actually tried building a consumer scale application, but I love building boring B2B products. Let's go up. Sure. Up. Have you been to to the narrow? No, not uh, yet. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great place. Uh, Linux up there. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like fantastic opportunity to be there. Uh, would that sound interesting? Or yeah. What would you do if you were going up there to now connect? I've been using Linux since kernel 0.9. I remember downloading Slackware over my 14.4K modem. The packages I downloaded were A, uh, K, D, A, P, 1, N and X. That's your minimum Linux distribution on Slackware. So I've been doing that for quite a long time. All right. And uh, yeah. Let's go over there. Sure. Uh, Registration is closed. Yeah. You don't need it. <laughs> okay. Sure. Been here before. Let's go in one of these rooms. Hey. 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 So what do we have here? Looks like it's all over. No, no. Nah, it's all right. Hey. So what are we building today? <laughs> Working on Clover, uh, an open source version of uh, OpenCL. Clover. Because I have a different. Because it's kind of funny, actually. I'm familiar with a different Clover. Uh, Clover, the uh, point of sales application. Oh, no, don't know that. <laughs> yeah, the Clover.com. Okay. Let's check. Do you mind saying what, what, what are you doing? Oh, no, it's uh, Odroid. Odroid? Odroid? Yeah, Odroid. Which CPU is in there? All, all I'm saying. Cool. Sorry to disturb you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks for uh, talking about stuff.